and in even others. Because we face trials. It's not up to me to say what those trials are. It's up to you. But in Philippians 1 verse 6, it says, Be confident in this very thing, that he who started a good work in you will see it to complete. Being relentless, well, though ain't hard to do, we often don't wish to do it. We think that, why go so far if we receive so little in return? Well, in truth, we're not expected to receive much here. We receive a mansion where we pray. Also, we don't tend to persevere because trials are, we have lack of money, we have lack of income, we have lack of support. But like being from the South, I like to say, just keep trucking on. Don't, no matter what gets in the way, just keep trucking on. Let me give you an illustration of a man who would truck on, be relentless, however you wish to say it. His name is James Hudson Taylor. He was sickly. He started, he was there when the war started between China and England, and he didn't even have a home. But he persevered. No matter what got in his way, he did not care. The man died, didn't care what got in his way. He would never give up. Being Christian, we're not being Christian. He knew, though, that the people in China rejected him. He knew God accepted him. He knew that though the people in China denied him, God accepted open hands to him nonetheless. That's what being relentless is, not giving up. No matter what gets in your way. You're relentless in the name of God. You're relentless with the one who don't want to accept God. Just offer my hand. That's all I'm saying. But just show me that hand to me. Another illustration is a man who was poor, uneducated, sometimes didn't even have a place to stay. He would, at a young age, he started a ministry. He would preach on street corners. He'd preach in old buildings. He'd even preach in the tent. Could have said, I don't need a tent gun, I need a church. I don't need a street corner, I need a church. God help me. Please. You're not going to give me these things like that, old man. Pointless. No, he went with the tents, he went with the corners. God bless me for this, because he was willing. He just it didn't matter what that was. Lack of money. Didn't care. Went on. Didn't have a place to stay. Didn't care. Went on. Relentless with the one Almighty God and He was blessed for it. The success with the Salvation Army. Small thing. Bigger. <coughs> you just gotta keep on going. His name was William Booth. Poor kid, poor area of town. Succeeded. Because it went on. In Philippians 4, verse 13. We can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. These two men that I gave an example of, one was sickly, one was healthy. Both of them still had no place to stay. But if they can succeed, can't we? If they can continue to go on, can't we? I mean, I pretty much felt like fleeing out of here. Here we go, I'm scared to be in front of you. Am I succeeding? Point is that we can all persevere. We can all be relentless. We just have to put enough time and energy into it. We may not get much here. Jesus got the cross. I think it's Stephen got the rocks. Point is. Where are they now? Jesus is on the right hand of God. Stephen's probably sitting on the throne of his own right now. Be relentless. Persevere. Now, I'd like to end this with prayer. Lord Jesus, bless us and help us to face the trials ahead. And God, help us to continue, continue going on. Help us to continue going on no matter what gets in our way. Help us to realize that no matter what's in our way, you can move. Amen.